Hello, my name is Joe Richardson and I'm the Strategic Executive Leader of the St. Thomas Catholic Academies Trust. And I want to speak to you today about the possibility of staff across our Academy Trust coming forward and serving as a governor on a local Academy committee. I want to start off by perhaps going through some reasons about why it's a good thing for staff, in addition to other volunteers, to come forward and seek to serve as a governor on a local Academy committee. And I guess there are two reasons. The first is the intrinsic value that governance brings to our family of schools. We all have a shared aim that the glory of God is a human being fully alive. And if that's going to be the case, then our schools really do need to be the best that they can possibly be. If you share that aim and you share that mission and you share the intrinsic hope that we can do the very best for the children in our trust, then becoming a governor, you know, acting as a steward on behalf of the diocese and behalf of our family and schools to ensure that each school is guided and supported to be the best it can be, then it's a natural fit for you as a person. The second reason why I think that becoming a governor is something that staff in particular should consider doing is because it is fantastic CPD, fantastic development for anyone who's interested in school leadership over the course of their career. Now, this could be staff from support staff as well as from teaching staff domains. But I would have to say that in my time as a leader in a school, learning to understand governance has been absolutely pivotal to being successful. Our governors play such a vital role in ensuring that actually what our schools are set up to do, what they're intended to do, that they do actually do those things. Governors play a huge role in checking and setting the strategy for the schools that are then adopted through improvement plans. They play a significant role in supporting schools in understanding where they're at and how they need to move forward. And they play a key role in challenging schools to be the best that they can be. And if you are a senior leader in a school or you are aspiring to be a senior leader in a school, then you will undoubtedly have to work with governors at some point in your career. You'll have to present plans to them. You'll have to maybe present student outcomes to them or talk about the Catholic life of the school or talk about people's students' spiritual development. And all of those things require a skill set that, if I'm honest, you don't learn anywhere else other than through governance. There's no better way of learning about something than by doing, ultimately. And if you have the opportunity to serve as a governor, I truly believe that that can really enhance your development and your, the depth of your understanding as you move towards senior leadership and maybe even one day towards headship and executive leadership. So do it for two reasons. One, do it because it is a role that has massive intrinsic value and will serve the children and our communities really well. But secondly, rather more selfishly, I guess, do it for yourself. Do it for your own professional development. I, I honestly believe it is a fantastic thing to do. And it's something that I wish that I had done earlier in my career, because I think I would have got better, more out of the volunteers that I have worked with. And I would maybe have gained a lot more as a person through listening more uh, to my governance over a period of time. So please, please think about that quite carefully. So just in terms of what the governors do, I've already talked about that idea of uh, the, the strategy, really, that schools are following. And the fundamental thing that our governors do in our Catholic schools is to ensure that they do exactly what they're set up to do, which is first and foremost to pass on the faith and to teach people about the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's what the first thing we are called to do. We also are called to provide an outstanding education. In canon law, it talks about our schools being at least as academically distinguished as other schools. That means to say that our schools do have to be better than other schools down the road. Uncomfortable thing to say that, right? But it's true. You know, if our children are going to be fully alive, then clearly what we do day in, day out must be spiritually enriching, must be uplifting in terms of uh, the, the, the children's Catholic life and their moral developments and their, their cultural developments but they must also be outstanding places for children to learn around their academic development and their skill development too. 
So in terms of our governors, it is around the strategy, checking that that aligns with what our schools are set up to do, but it's also around challenging and supporting around those performance areas around the school. Through what you will learn as a governor, you will learn things to do with school finance, school health and safety requirements, school improvement processes, uh, school evaluation processes, lots of things that maybe in your day-to-day -day role you don't get to experience and therefore doesn't really prepare you for um, the future of your career maybe as a senior leader in our schools. And as I say again, that can be both as a support member of staff and also as a teaching member of staff as well. So it's a whole range of things that governors will do. And just be really highlight things. Governance has moved on a lot. It is not sitting around meetings six times a year. Most of the governance work now actually is, is very interactive. It's very much going into schools, meeting with particular leaders, and uh, you know, finding those other voices really in our schools other than the head teacher. Uh, it's kind of a bit, bit unnerving for people like me really who spent years working directly with our governing bodies actually that's probably been the wrong model people need to go out and get different voices in to and listen to those so governors have a really diverse role in what they do uh, and if they do it really well it can certainly support the uh, the life and the improvement of the school so two key questions there one how can i serve and second one how might i serve or where might i serve so let's deal with that first one uh, first the how can i serve there are two roles that you could serve through the first is you could be elected as onto your local academy committee for your school as a staff member now that role is an elected post. If your school doesn't currently have a staff local academy committee member, they should go through an election process to elect someone. And there's a term of office there that will have to be renewed periodically. So that's one way that you may be able to sit on the local academy committee for your own school. The other way is to serve as a local academy committee member in another school in our family, within our, our family of trust schools. And you can do that maybe in a geographical area that you're based, maybe even in an area that's close to your home rather than maybe that's close to your school. And, and if, in that regard, um, what would happen is you would apply to become a foundation governor and foundation governors are appointed by the diocese in the first instance. They, the, once they're appointed, they uh, are then placed by the board of directors onto particular local academy committees where there is a need and where there's a particular skill set required. Now, more often than not, people actually you know, express a preference as to where they would like to serve, and, we're, and, and that's not, uh, almost certainly accommodated as far as possible. But it can be the case that actually we have a specific need, and, you know, and, and uh, foundation governors may come with a particular skill set that we really need attached to a particular school. And this whole endeavour is about service. It's, it's not about you know, choosing schools where people go, right? It, but it's about actually where is the need where have we got the skills match those two things together and let's get improvement going in the right direction to be a foundation governor you have to be appointed by the diocese in the first instance so there's an application process that we'll support you with um, but to do that you you must be a, a practicing catholic uh, and uh, would be able to have the support of your local parish priest in the form of a priest reference as well and um, it's a great role as i've said before so in terms of where you can serve, there's a list of schools there that just highlight the schools that are currently in our Academy Trust. I dare say over the next couple of years, we may have one or two more schools join our Academy Trust, but those are the schools that are either currently in now or will be in by the 1st of December, 2021. Um, and there's an opportunity maybe for you to serve on a, a number of those different local Academy committees uh, where there is a need to do so. Clearly, you'll want that local Academy committee committee to be at school no, sorry that you want that school to be close to where you live for uh, for the sake of convenience a number of our meetings are online at the moment um, but we're trying to pair that back a little bit and obviously there are some things that definitely do need to be face to face and um, and i think it's probably we'd all agree that the best meetings are face to face ultimately so you can serve in a number of different schools across our across our trust as I say, there may be more schools that you might be able to serve in uh, in the future. If you uh, would like to serve in one of the voluntary aided schools that are currently not in our trust, 
I absolutely know that the diocese would love to hear from you as well. And you can go to the Norris website, uh, so just type Norris into Google and it will take you through to their website and the application forms are there present on, on that site. Um, I know they'll be uh, glad to hear from you. And if you want to find out more, and maybe if you want an existing local academy committee member or a governor to talk to you, to have a chat with you about what this involves and how, how you might be able to uh, you know, try and find out a wee bit more before you commit to something, then please do contact our trust secretary on admin at stcat.co.uk. We will be really happy to help you, really happy to support you through that process. And I wish you well and uh, hope that some of you are able to answer this call. It's great to serve and we can do our, we are at our best when we do so. St Thomas, pray for us.